I think most bowlers have that one tip or piece of advice that has stuck with them throughout their bowling lives. Often it's the simple things that can really help your game and the purpose of this video is to find out what everyone's best bowling tip is. Now I think it goes without saying that regularly working with a coach you trust and respect is vital for bowlers of all levels. Building a close relationship with a high quality coach can work wonders for your game and you can quickly start to see some big improvements. But that's not to say you can't work on your game yourself. You can certainly self-teach slash self-coach yourself. Many players do this. The only problem is that I believe there's only so far you can go on your own before you just need someone to help you reach that next level. I almost see a good coach as somebody who's able to show you the way and help you along the path, but at the end of the day, you still have to put in the effort yourself, which means putting in the work on your own, both on and off the lanes. But more than anything else, often you just need a pair of fresh eyes to see what you're doing well, but most importantly, the weak points that need addressing. For myself, during the last year or so, I decided to work closely with a coach regularly, and I've noticed such a difference both in the physical and mental game. I'm currently being coached by Andy Penny, and for those of you who watched one of my recent videos, Andy joined me and we broke down a fantastic match featuring Chris Barnes and Kirsten Penny. Andy is without doubt one of the most knowledgeable people in bowling that I've ever met, so it was a pleasure to have him on one of my videos. If you're currently looking for a new coach to work with, then I definitely recommend taking a look at Andy's website to see what he does and how he might be able to help you. I've left a link to his website in the description of this video just in case anybody is interested and you can also find the video that we did together on the link above. So this is now the part where you come in because regardless of whether you have a coach or if you coach yourself, getting valuable tips from fellow bowlers can make a huge difference to your game as well. It's often the simple tips that really help which is why I wanted to make this video so that this can become almost like a little place where everyone can exchange their best tips or pieces of bowling advice. And I'd be really interested to hear your best bowling tips too, so please do comment below and let me and others know what the best bowling tip you ever received was and also who gave it to you. Some of the main things that I remember being told when I was first learning was mainly your classic pieces of advice. Straighter is greater, let the ball do the work, make your spares and the strikes will take care of themselves and these are definitely all very useful pieces of advice i think the one that stuck with me the most was probably to just keep everything as simple as possible because often we can overcomplicate things and especially when you are a very analytical person so that kind of simple piece of advice of just keeping it simple playing the simple shot is something that i try to remember when it feels like I'm just complicating things a little too much. So as I said, please let me know in the comments the best piece of bowling advice you ever received and I definitely look forward to reading through them all. That's going to bring us to an end of this little video. So as always, thank you for watching and thank you bowling fans and see you all next time.